What is going on guys? It is Echo and yes, we are on GTA Online, but sadly I am still classed as a cheater, still unable to play with friends and still unable to live stream with you guys. But this video is more of an update video than anything else. Now lately, especially on my channel, you would have noticed I made a video about me becoming a cheater, how you become a cheater, the email I got from Rockstar and more information. Now I made this video and it seems Pretty much every single GTA channel on YouTube is kind of followed my information, but I feel it's more Chinese whispers than anything else. I feel a lot of people are adding things to their own opinions, as in saying, oh, you're getting banned for this reason, you're getting banned for that reason. So in this video, I'm going to clear up a few things because I got a response from Rockstar when I did reply to the email they sent me. Now, the email that I did originally get was automated. It basically said, my account has been classed as a cheater. Uh, I believe I'm in there for one month, two or three days or something like that. So after that time is up, guys, expect more live streams on GTA Online. Expect subscriber lobbies, etc, etc. Also, I might be using my other gamer tag to do this in the meantime. But anyway, it basically said I was a cheater. My account was valued. I lost all my money, but I kept my cars. Now... The thing is, uh, I can still only pretty much play on my own unless I come across one or two people who are also classed as cheaters, which is not fun, I have to admit, because it's like one or two people and it's boring as hell. I miss playing with my friends, I miss playing with you guys. But like I said, a lot of people have been Chinese whispering this information, adding things like, oh, you get banned for modding cars into the game. Now, I'm going to explain the system on Rockstar and how they did respond to me. Now, I wasn't expecting a response. And in all honesty, they said that a few of their... Uh, employees watched my video and pretty much said well it's 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 blatant there you can see your gamer tag and I said yes I know you can see my gamer tag I hung I hold my hand up I did these glitches I did these tutorials I posted them on YouTube now a lot of people are forgetting I did this for you guys basically the way Rockstar is seeing this is I'm costing them money as soon as I put up a tutorial uh, a tutorial on how to get past the glitch I'm costing them money now if you don't know Updates on Xbox 360 or Xbox One or PlayStation 3, 4, they cost money. They cost a lot of money for a company like Rockstar. And although Rockstar are multi-millionaires, they still cost money. I'm sure no company wants to lose money. So when I put that tutorial up, a lot of people, what they did is not only report my gamer tag in-game, they also posted my videos with my gamer tag on their forums. Now once it's on the forums, it can be reviewed by the people at Rockstar. They can pass my gamer tag on, my video on, and say, look, he's done this, he needs to be punished. So at the moment, I am being punished. So I, I'm gonna sit there and say, I, I deserve it. I deserve to be punished for what I'm doing, but I don't deserve to be punished on how it's been uh, brought up upon me without any, uh, how can I put it, without any real reason. They've not specifically said why. They just won't do that. It's like anything else. They won't say the specific reason. They've just pretty much said that you're a bad guy. Uh, so I'm classed as a bad guy. And I have to admit, I did these glitches, but I did them once or twice just for a basic tutorial. I haven't abused them. The most ever money I've had on GTA Online was 3 million. Um, and this is nothing compared to people who have about 5, 10, 15, 20, and it goes up and on and on and on. Um, so, but I, it's, I, I can see I'm kind of the source, so it, it always comes back to me. It will do. A lot of you guys who have done this glitch, I can't see any of you being banned at all. That is hand on heart. You will not be banned for doing these glitches. Now, a fair warning. You've got... I'm going to play it out in how I think. Now, to start off with, high chance of being banned is by modding cars into the game. Now, you'll notice out there now is a tool. A tool where you can pretty much customize any car which isn't on GTA Online and bring it online with a single player glitch. You place it in Trevor's vehicle. Uh, you place the car in uh, Trevor's garage or something along those lines. I have no idea, I have never done it. Now, hand on heart, I have never done any single player to multiplayer glitch with cars. I have never used the mod tool. The only glitches I've ever done or the reputation one, which was Criminal Records, which was Rockstar's fault. In fact, all these glitches are Rockstar's fault. None of these glitches are my fault. I should not be punished, in my opinion. I should not be punished for, for glitches, for modding. Yes, I am not simply modding the game. I am doing something which they should have fixed a very, very long time ago. Now, Rockstar are pretty bad at pushing updates out compared to, like, Call of Duty, games like that. Those updates push out very, very fast. You, they do them without us even noticing sometimes, but Rockstar are pretty bad bad so how I'm gonna say it to you is if you're modding by glitching in cars through mod tools via your PC you have a like a very very high chance of being banned or punished if you're doing glitches the way I was then you've got a very very minimal chance uh, unless you're just unlucky like me which is like one in 
a million chance of being banned. So I just wanted to clear up a few things. A lot of people are misunderstanding the email I did get. The email was basically a, um, a clarification saying you are being punished for what you have done. You've done this video. And the reason why I was done it, thanks to Trev, uh, a good friend of mine who did pretty much hit me up and say you were banned for this reason. Um, he's, he's been banned himself, but he didn't make a video because he didn't want to worry people. Although I didn't want to worry people, I wanted to just say there is always a chance of being banned for glitches or modding on any single game. That is true. No matter what, whatever game you're playing, you always have a high chance or a minimal chance of being banned. So if you've done it, don't expect to be banned, but don't put it past them because I don't know if Rockstar are going to push out a ban wave or keep a cheater's pool permanently for people to stay in there forever. Uh, I have no idea at all, but hopefully this has cleared a few things up. Hopefully I'll be back to normal on GTA Online. If you want to see more GTA Online content, let's smash 200 likes. If we hit 200 likes, guys, over this week, I'll be bringing you lots of GTA live streams with subscribers. I'm Echo. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.